Today is Monday, June 28th, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is the consequences of following Jesus Christ. Let us pray. We know, O oh Lord, that if we follow close to you, nothing shall be able to separate us from your love. Give us the grace today to make your word our home, that we may know you more clearly and serve you evermore. Amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 28. I cry out to you, true life. You are my rock. Don't refuse to hear me. If you won't talk to me, I'll be just like those going down to the pit. Listen to my request for mercy when I cry out to you. When I lift up my hands to your holy inner sanctuary. Don't drag me off with the wicked and those who do evil, the type who talk nice to their friends while evil thoughts are in their hearts. Pay them back for what they've done. Pay them back for their evil deeds. Pay them back for their handiwork. Give back to them exactly what they deserve because they have no regard for what true life has done, no regard for God's handiwork. God will tear them down and never rebuild. Bless true life, because God has listened to my request for mercy. True life is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts God. I was helped. My heart rejoiced and I thanked God with my song. True life is our strength. God is a fortress of protection for the anointed one. Save your people, God. Bless your possession. Shepherd them and carry them for all time. Our daily scripture is Matthew 12, verses 46 through 50. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and brothers stood outside trying to speak with him. Someone said to him, look, your mother and brothers are outside wanting to speak with you. Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? He stretched out his hand toward his disciples and said, Look, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven is my brother, sister, and mother. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. We rightfully honor Mary, the mother of Jesus as she submitted her will to God so completely, and in doing so conceived and gave birth to God incarnate. Here, though, Jesus reminds us that all of us who submit our wills to God's are members of his family. How does it feel to know that Jesus sees you in the same love and light as he saw Mary?
As Mary learned, following the will of God isn't simply about following a set of rules. Sometimes God calls us to step beyond the rules and to take a leap of faith into something that feels uncomfortable and perhaps even dangerous. How can you prepare your heart and mind to receive such challenging guidance from God? hard is it for you to submit your will to God, to give up your plans for God's plan? Our reading today comes from Seeking God's Peace in a Nuclear Age, a Call to Disciples of Christ. Hope in God and in the triumph of God's purpose is the central thrust of biblical eschatology. Concern with the ending of history, the time, the manner, is minimal in Scripture. Concern with the end of history is a dominant theme. The end is God's goal for the entire enterprise. Jesus' term for the end was God's reign, the kingdom of heaven. To him, that reign was at hand, as near as the readiness of women and men to receive it. Most people, of course, were not ready and they sent him to a cross. But in preaching Jesus as the Christ, the Messiah, the church continues to point toward the coming of God's new age. Let us pray. God, we often find it difficult to give up our own ideas of what we should do. Yet you call us to let go and allow ourselves to be directed by you. Give us ears to hear, hearts to trust, and courage to respond. Today, God, we pray for those who lost loved ones and those injured in the tragic collapse of the condo in Miami. May they experience your peace and comfort, and may they receive justice from those responsible for the tragedy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those whose carelessness led to this tragedy. May they experience your peace, and may they have the courage to take the responsibility of doing the right thing by these families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
We pray for the residents of the surrounding buildings who now face the fear and anxiety of wondering if their own homes are safe. May they experience your peace and may they receive the information they need to make wise decisions about their living situations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. My Lord, I come to this moment knowing altogether too well that my feet are prone to wander and my heart prone to coldness. Go with me, my Lord. Keep my feet to your path and my heart aflame with your spirit. Amen. Go in peace.